from Montgomery Reservoir. Today, I'm gonna be hiking 13er and Centennial Clinton Peak. For a full trail guide of this Centennial, you can check the link in the description below. Obviously have the split board with me today, so I'm gonna be snowboarding the descent, but I'm uh, gonna be hiking the standard route. If there is one of Clinton Peak, which is the uh, southeast slopes here. In the summer, you might be able to drive up a bit further, but since it's uh, still spring here, there's a road closure and uh, I can't get all the way to the trailhead. Basically, you'd be able to drive maybe another third of a mile down this road with a passenger car. And then the next two and a half miles are uh, some of the roughest roads in this, in this area. So you definitely need a high clearance four by four and uh, good driving skills to get the remainder of the way. Clinton Peak is about a nine mile hike. Old abandoned mine, start off the day. It's looking down at the road. For anybody asking how rough the road is, this is an example. These are my hiking poles. These are huge. So you definitely need a very high clearance car to get up here. Springtime, fuck it, eh? You may notice I'm uh, carrying my split board again instead of skinning. This uh, approach here is just impossible to skin. Water crossings like this are every 50 feet, 50 yards, and they're pretty deep, so you have to navigate around them. Getting into the upper basin here. Lots of snow coverage, which is great. Wasn't sure about that. Looking over to the Lincoln beautiful basin and spring in its finest. Just under two miles in here, you got North Star Mountain up there, and then uh, Clinton is somewhere back here. And uh, yeah, there's a traverse you can do, like going all through these three. Uh, there's actually some people who've gone all the way from Quandary, which is like that way over to Democrat, which is through there. Uh, but yeah, beautiful up here, very secluded. So I believe to get up Clinton, you're gonna take a right up there and then it's kind of back in there. You can see Democrat over to the left and the North Kular of Democrat. Just about three miles into the hike here, and uh, you can see that's not Clinton, but Clinton's back in there. So there's kind of a ramp that works up and then back over. So that's your next bet. It's gonna look totally different in the summer, maybe even later in the spring, but just kind of framing you with Democrat over there and this big rock face right in front of you. Oh, it's getting warm. Holy crap. just watching a special on ptarmigans this one still has its uh winter coat and it's not happy i'm in its house so i'm gonna move on really beautiful up at wheeler lake it's frozen just over there I'll show you an aerial view of it beautiful to frame me here you got north star mountain there and then clinton is kind of through here so the bait i have for summer is you want to go around and then go left but I see absolutely no reason why I can't just hike up this slope here to gain where I need to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, snow is warming pretty quickly. 
still decent freeze. Definitely don't want to be hanging around here too much longer. So I figure I'll just hoof it up here and knock this climb out. In the final upper basin here, well, second to final, I guess. There's technically one more up there. This is Taver Peak in front of us. Clinton is off to the, the north or the right. Can't see it yet. So basically you're gonna head up here and uh, eventually make your way up a gully, but I'll show you that in a minute. Snow is a lot softer down there, just to be expected. Still have decent firmness up here, but Man, I'm not looking forward to that last slope. It's gonna to be tough. At your final uh, juncture here, so this is a small pond or lake, I believe, when it's melted out. This is Taver Peak up here. And this slope, kind of on the other side of this rib, is uh, the slope up to Clinton. So home stretch, about a half mile to go. In terms of skiing this, I can tell that this is not gonna be a one ride down kind of day. There's definitely gonna be a couple sections where I have to walk, uh, just because like looking, looking like right here, for example, the lake or pond or whatever has all these rocks. So might be able to find a line, who knows? Probably not worth it for 20 feet of uh, snowboarding. And then, yeah, the walk out. So I walked right about two miles that I was showing you guys in the beginning that that'll be tough any time of year to uh, really get that unless you're here in the winter, like full blown winter, to get that from car to summit. But the rest of it up here looks like it's pretty good coverage. So even though this is south facing, uh, this should stay in till, I don't know, maybe June, mid June on a good year before you really walk in more than, you're, more than it's worth. Taking a little break here before I head up the last slope. Let's talk about gear for this hike. So, so far I have not used crampons, but I would recommend having them. At the very, very least micro spikes because you'll see this last slope is steep. It's definitely gonna require traction. Uh, I have a mountain ax, I have hiking poles. Um, if you're not split boarding or uh, skinning in, definitely want snowshoes, definitely want gaiters for the way down. It's gonna be soft. Yeah, obviously wearing my beacon here. Yeah, to shop all virtual Sherpa gear, I have everything from hats to stickers to hoodies. Go ahead and check that link, which links you to my website in the description below. And then you can also help support the channel by uh, shopping the affiliate links I have in this description below. Um, and that'll show you everything that I'm using today in terms of specific gear. This is the final slope. It's pretty steep, but luckily for me, there's a, it's really thin at the top, so in terms of avalanche risk, I'm pretty late in the day, but I'll be able to avoid the steepest part of the slope, looks like, because of the, the rock up there. So, yeah, cornices line this ridge here. You can see, I'll show you a closer look here. Looking back at the approach there, over to Mount Lincoln and Cameron. As you get up towards the top here, you're gonna to wanna to kinda of aim right for that peak, that little point there. There might not be that snow when you're here, but essentially line yourself up because there is a false summit or just a sub summit or whatever you wanna call it over to the right. So aim kinda of left. This is what I was aiming for. I could actually see the summit marker like right there. So basically you're just gonna take a left at the top of this ridge and not a right. Looking back, absolutely beautiful with the snow up here. 
summit of Clinton Peak here, 13 eight something. Once again, just another beautiful day in the mountains. A little bit of a struggle, but honestly, pretty happy with where I'm at given the variables. Just about 4.1 miles from car to summit and 2,700 feet, so probably 200 more since my GPS is a little off of elevation gain. Gonna enjoy the turns down here. Just be careful when you choose your line. There are cornices like I showed you earlier, so choose uh, accordingly. far gonna have a good walk out though beautiful backdrop here i'm gonna wrap up this video of clinton peak overall a nice hike definitely not one of my favorites in the area even with the snowboard down just because it's kind of flat there's uphills definitely not a consistent ski snowboard out as you can see uh dog friendly i would say yeah definitely if your dog's good off the leash even in the summer this is a dog friendly hike it's gonna be about eight miles uh, for this one, again, if you can drive up to Upper Trailhead, which is up here, it'll be a really short hike, but if you're looking to snowboard or ski this, that'll not be an option. So uh, plan on eight miles, maybe a little less if the lower gate is open. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe and then bell button to not miss any future hike related content. I have a whole playlist for winter hiking, 13ers, uh, and snowboarding is mixed in with all of that. I do virtual trail guides here in Colorado and much, much, much more. So go ahead and check out uh, my website as well, thevirtualsherpa.com for more information on every hike I post on the site here. As always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure. Shout out to the guy I met on the trail today. He uh, gave me a nice booter on the way up uh, Clinton and uh, I get to follow his post holding on the way out. Nice to meet you, man. Sorry I didn't catch your name. I'm the worst at that, but appreciate the support.